Good evening, everyone. I'm Yuki Washington. And I'm Jessica Cartalia. You have been watching coverage of the impeachment hearings right here on CBS 3. We will have more on today's developments coming up. Right now on Eyewitness News, a community comes together after a terrifying experience. Friday shooting at a high school football game. Gunfire erupted during the game between Pleasantville and Camden High Schools. Three people were shot, including a 10-year-old boy. Eyewitness News reporter Cleve Bryan is at Pleasantville High School tonight with an update. Cleve? Well, while everyone is mindful that that little boy is still fighting for his life, there's an air of excitement that tomorrow the football team will get to go to Lincoln Financial Field and finish a game that was very important to this community before taking a tragic turn. Well, I mean, the atmosphere here was electric. It was a night nearly all of Pleasantville was looking forward to a home playoff football game against Camden High School. But in the third quarter, excitement turned to terror. According to police, those shots you heard were fired by 31-year-old Alvin Wyatt from Atlantic City. According to the court records, earlier in the game, some of his associates noticed a rival of theirs in the stands, Ibn Abdullah from Atlantic City. They FaceTimed Wyatt, who allegedly came to the stands and opened fire. Some individuals that had problems with each other from a previous incident uh, decided to uh, take it to the next level and endanger uh, a great deal of uh, amount of people. Abdullah was shot as well as two innocent bystanders. An unidentified 15-year-old was grazed and 10-year-old Micah was shot in the neck. He remains at Cooper Hospital in critical condition where Pleasantville Interim Superintendent Dennis Anderson visited his family on Tuesday. They're really upbeat and, and dealing with this better than uh, you know, I could. A team of specialists, including some with therapy dogs, are providing counseling to traumatized students in Pleasantville. Then on Monday came the big news. The Philadelphia Eagles have invited Pleasantville and Camden to finish their playoff game at Lincoln Financial Field on Wednesday. They're all excited. You know, they got their tickets today for their parents. And, it, you know, I mean, and, and, and it was like a celebration for them, which was good. They, they, they need to have that feeling back again. Now, the game at the link tomorrow afternoon is not open to the public, but we plan to have our cameras there. Meanwhile, five out of the six defendants, all the people that were arrested shortly after the shooting, will be in court on Thursday. We're live in Pleasantville. Cleve Bryan, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Cleve, thank you.